Hey, it's James from Free Electrical. On today's video, we're sorting out all this nasty bundle flipping heck. Uh, oh, we're gonna disconnect it all, see where it all goes. <laughs> Let's get into this. First things first, we're just gonna get back up, so let's go pick up Jonah and uh, see how Brian's getting up to. So let's get over there. Yeah, here he is then, Mr. Brian. Let's see how he's getting on. There he is, Mr. Jonah. What are you doing? Getting that swapped over? Uh huh. Is that yes, sir? Where's he at? Here he is, in the cupboard. <laughs> how are you doing? Yeah, good, good, good. Yeah, what? Nice little last to be our board, is it? Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, nice, nice going that. Now look at that. Oh, I saw old box down here. So it's cut back out of an adaptable box. And then that'll have a lid on. And then look at that. Bit of a 4 2 into a box. Okay, I don't strip that. That'll look dead neat though, won't it? I'll have to send me a picture and I'll have to add it to the video at the end. Yeah, I've done a start. That's good then. Well, so. Alright then, I'll, I'll nick Jonah then. Let's take him with me. Hey, we've got, we got a little scissor lift. <laughs> what are you using? I'm filming driving it. Yeah, I'll see. Yeah. I'll, I'll, oh, give, I'll give Jonah a go. Have you got a scissor lift before? No. What do you think he'll do? He'll go, I'll tell you what he'll do. He'll go like that, go back and go forward. <laughs> <laughs> That's Brian's prediction. Yeah. Got okay, Brian's all set up then. <clears throat> he's, got his, uh, got his, he's literally got his stall set up. <laughs> so I can't set out your stall. Look at that, a little cutting bench. Very posh, Brian. Here we go, Paxman Bakery. So I've got a little cake, steak pie, a little egg custard. What do you get? Pork pie, sausage roll, and a Berliner really nice sauce. <laughs> it's, it's splashed out, it's paid here for Jonah. So here we are, still working out the silver beauty then. See, so I'll have to crack on today then. We're going to find out where all these cables go. It's a right bundle. Look at this then. A little steak and onion. Mm. Uh oh. <laughs> Look at that. That is proper bakery pie right there, mate. Mmm. So good. And we're back then. So Jonah's on the lifter. He's absolute mm. itching to have a go on that. <laughs> but yeah, so we've got all this nasty cables come in. So I think there's two two or three walls here. They've been knocked down. And everything's just left dangling. So what we're gonna have to do with them is trace these back then, disconnect it, because they basically don't want these that this power here because it's single phase so we're going to bring a three phase supply into that corner from a three phase board over there everything else is going to get ditched off then as you can imagine it's a bit of a nightmare look at all this cable there's a lot of data cable going into other units so what we don't want to do is just chop it all rip it all out and then there's units without internet and then you've got to figure out what cable goes where so but yeah that's what we're doing we're just tracing out what cable goes where with all these datas all this power stuff which is fed off these boards we can just ditch off so it's a lot of uh, seeing what does what and then also we've got power over here like some old power that's always been here these feed like the lighting for the corridor and stuff like that so you've got like landlord supplies which obviously is going to be metered separate so these are like uh, units that get get rented out so they want to be paying for the electric so it'd be a three-phase supply and that three-phase supply should be just doing this unit and then we might have to put uh, another board in and consolidate this into one which will just do the landlord stuff yeah john is absolutely itching to get get on this so up we go then so there's, a, there's a stop cock i'll stop like a pull stop at the bottom so that has to be out is it, is it being pulled already there we go there's a there's, a pull, there's like a emergency stop there so that gets pulled out now let's put it on uh, let's have a look let's put it on tortoise mode so you don't go anywhere. So it's like, it's like a joystick. So we basically, there's a, little, there's a little button on the back you press, and then you can turn your wheels left and right. You have to press the button first. There we go, that's right, left. And then you just edge it forward like a joystick. There we go. So, yeah, you might have to duck a bit. <laughs> right, you have a go then, send us forward a bit. At the moment, wheels are sending us over there. Just turn us to the left. So to keep that trigger on always. And you're, oh. To keep that trigger on. And position your wheels left. There we go. <laughs> no, we're chilling, we're chilling. We're chilling, are we? Have you figured it out? Mm -hmm. Not used to joysticks. 
In the back of the day we gave me and you had joysticks. <laughs> ah. Right, we need to go that way. <laughs> it's getting a bit chaotic then. So yeah, I'll move forward. You, you move the cables out of the way because we've got to get into that corner. That's it. Let me lift it over us. And then obviously if anything catches, you don't know who's pulling pulling all this cable in down, do you? Oh, okay. There we go. There we go. You might have to come down and move this light fitting if we're going to run over it. We've arrived. Right. <laughs> Tonight, man, honestly, it's a right jungle. Yeah, trying to lift the cables over the lifter while you're going forwards. It's not easy, right? So all this old CCTV stuff, we can ditch out. What else we got? A little junction box. There'll be a little fuse board in there, but or some old fuses. You can see an armoured come in and some one wheels coming out. You got some old rewirable fuse boards here. If we open these up, it'll be fuse wire and some asbestos belt behind the fuse wire. So again, you've got to be careful. Yeah, I'm right. So all, all these will be live, mate. Alright. So, and it's three phase. This is a <laughs> Lovely. So a little 10 mil to L1, L2, L3, that's how they used to do it back in the day. And everything's just ramped. Yeah, it's a nightmare, this. Now, let's give you some tips then of how to tackle this mess. So, what you do then? You just, you just, you just start, you just start. No, so basically just find out what you do now. Uh, disconnect what, what you know what does what to so like all these fuse boards come in from a supply so you can basically just chop that cable and just pull it out to, to it might go to a light or a few lights so ditch those out shove it to one side and then you go to the next circuit next circuit next circuit and then you basically just break it down into pieces of what you do know and then there'll be a lot less cables to be looking at and then you'll kind of trace them back to a source if it's not doing a thing disconnect it pull it out and that's just a process you just gotta just keep doing that so yeah hopefully this big bundle of data cables that runs through just we follow it and it just goes nowhere and they're chopped off and we just rip it all out really quick if not there might be like one disappears down there goes to a random data point that's not being used in an office and we can just ditch it off or yeah, we need to figure out what's been used and what's not. It's going to be a bit of a nightmare, so <laughs> not looking forward to it. Bye, have a great time. <laughs> There's cables everywhere. Now this is the best thing ever to see when you're tracing out data is an end just chops off. So you know it's not working because obviously data you need a socket end and then one goes into like a panel. So when you see this you like sound so we can pull that out and then trace it back and rip it back to source. Hey John is dragging his, uh, his Victor away. <laughs> Look at that. Hopefully it'll drag everything else with it. Yes, it's coming out in a big lump. That is satisfying. Yeah, it's looking a bit tidy this end. So we've just got a few cables we've got to pull back. We're getting there. We are getting there. Right, should we pull that out then? You going to get it out at wall? <laughs> Heave ho! There we go, everything's down on the floor now. So everything got lashed up, so we have to try and on hook it all we're getting there so what we're doing is just sort out this bundle just trace it back pull it out and then shove it all over there so eventually this floor will be clear Woo. right then so now look at me i'm black i need to get cleaned up so what we've done then We've disconnected most of this stuff. We've got one board over there, all the outgoings are disconnected. This board here, all that, all the outgoings are disconnected. So we've got a little armoured cable now. It goes over here. And what that's doing, it goes into this old rewirable fuse board. So we just disconnect that. There we go, that's an old rewirable fuse. Just fuse wire, so that melts essentially and that's what disconnects the circuit and that's asbestos. So you're gonna be super careful. What we're going to do then is just chop that out then. And that'll ditch you out. It's leveled up its heater. So we'll just disconnect that. So it looks like a three phase heater actually. Yeah, it is. It's a three phase heater. So it's like a balanced heater. So we'll get rid of that. We'll disconnect the fuse for that. 
without getting a shock. The fuse for this one. If we can, there we go. And that's it. Should be able to chop them out then. There we go. Yeah, get in that. Is it ready yellow blue with the old colours for L1, L2, L3? So now we can just ditch this cable and all that should be dead on the floor. Quick test then. This was showing up on the vault pen as live before. Now it's dead. Obviously we're going to test it properly, but it's a good ind indication to see it come on, off, on, off. When I'm sweeping chimneys. Not quite the same, is it? So that's what these heater boards are feeding. So essentially it's just an armoured cable. Goes down to this isolator. Do you want to do, do this then, Jono? Classic switch gear, this. I don't make a mattress anymore. But this, this essentially turns your socket on. Turns it off, it's like a big fuse spur. So you do that, you lift both of these up and that just flaps down. There you go, and all that does is just connect it in, connect it out with little little levers. There we go. What do you think, old switch again? Imagine that as a light switch at home. Is that what it was? No. <laughs> no, it, it isolated the socket so you can plug in. 20th of September 1978, that's when that was built, mate. Now, this board's now dead up, so there's no heat circuits coming out of that three phase. It's the only circuits we've got left there. We've got a few disappearing down there, which do some sockets just laid on the floor down there. And they come into here. So, we'll disconnect the cables on the outcoming. Right, we've definitely broken the back on it then, so when we come back then, I'll better clean the face before we go out. Uh, that board, we'll have to disconnect the outgoings that are doing this unit. And hopefully all these cables will be dead, and then we're going to then tackle the dirt cable. Not flipping it. <laughs> it's so bad, isn't it? <laughs> So the hole's down by Martin, but that, let's look at the camera. I'm still a bit black. Oh, but yeah, I'll get away with that. Oh, I've got to get a cold drink, John. I'm uh, a bit thirsty I'm here. To Tesco we go. Right then, I've got rid of my monobrow as well. Steak pie continues. Mm. What have you got, Matt? Yeah. What have you got? Chicken and bacon, and then... Pie. Oh, no, what have you done to me, cake? I think he's stood on it. <laughs> I've got a lot of leg room. Yeah, I've got a lot of leg room. He's stood on me, cake. Do you know it's hilarious? I've got a cake. It's not too bad. It's so fluffy. This is a Pax Paxman cake. Mm. You do some pull-ups. Can you do it? Do what? You do your dips? No, I can do dips. Look at this. The floating electrician. <laughs> so, Alexio, there's one of them where you have to just literally just sit in a dip position and see how long you can do it. <laughs> Alex nearly beat it, beat right. it last year. Right. right, this way then, Mr. Driver. Can you do it without crashing into some cylinders? You're about to stick out the light fixing. Right, we're going to be over here. In fact, we need to spin it round because we're going to push that cage over there so we can undo the uh, undo that rope again. Spin have lashed it up with ropes. We have to untangle it all and then we can disconnect it. Land ahoy! Right, do you want to put your foot on that and push me out? Keep going. Keep going. We need to get to this rope. Come on, Jonah. More. That'll do. There we go. Get rid of this rope then. There's some light fitness strung up here. And then we can disconnect this bit and that little bit last bit strung up in it. Put another string up there, aren't we? We're gonna drop all that. Yeah. But yeah, it's looking a lot less though, isn't it? It's looking a lot better. I must say so myself. Here we go, we're getting there. It's just left with a big pile of just mush. And then all the cables going back, we've chased them back, pulled them out, chopped them off, brought it back into this ball. And this ball's gonna go in that yellow skip. Yeah, man. Come on, John. Looking well tidy now. So all this has got taken down. So it's just, just left the data cables and the odd cables that go to the old sockets. Joe just jumped straight back in because he wants another go. Yeah. Can't see does. More space. More space. So I'm just gonna get over to this knot now. 
Uh, undo that nut, all this will fall down, and then we'll just tidy that up back to the board. And that will be the power disconnected, and that's just onto the the daters. Oh, it's looking beautiful now, Jonah. We just don't last little knot now. So as you can see, they're just. <laughs> Fire lamp. Must, must be dusty, mate. Look at that. Fire lamp's going off. But anyway, if we've got a good job, it's not linked to police. Not fire station. <laughs> and there we go. This last knot. All this will drop, and then we can just get rid of all these old BT lines and these daters. <laughs> Fucking him, run. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so look at your nose. Whoa. You got like a black sash under right underneath your nose. <laughs> there you go, Brian sent over a picture of his fuse board inside then. Look at that, that's not too bad, is it? So he's got his all his earth in and cable tied up. Nice little archers coming in. Not too bad. So there we go, we've got that tidied up then, that looked a lot better. So yeah, blind me. I was in a black by the end of that. That was a little, like a chimney sweep, wasn't I? Shocking. So yeah, if we've got all them them uh, uh, cables tidied up, fire alarm started going off randomly just because of the dust get, getting in. I think they'll put rubber gloves over them, but dust has managed to get through the back, which is a bit annoying. So, but yeah, that's uh, that unit's all tidied up. So other jobs we've got to do on there. Then we've got to install six high bays. So you've got six UFO lights going in. We've got like a switch to go in, three phase board, all that will get consolidated into a three phase board and a little board just to win like a few, um, I think some lighting circuits. One goes off to like a disabled toilet alarm, you know, the red pull cord. Uh, what else? And it's just the outside light, lighting for the car parks, that'll come off the landlord. And that's about it. A bit of emergency lighting, like a big twin spot, which will kind of light up if there's ever a power cut. Um, but yeah, that's about it really. Nice little tidy job. Tell me what you think below. There's also Jonah's driving skills then, so he had great fun with a little lifter, just zooming it in and out and uh, getting access to all the different areas. But I did a great job on that. So yeah, tell me what you think. So if you like this kind of content, then hit the like button, hit subscribe, hit the little bell notification, so you know when we next upload, so that's handy. But as always, I'm going from me, and we'll see you on the next one. Look at my hands. Dirty. Dirty. Might should rub it off, I had a monobrow earlier. Black monobrow.